the rights of deployed service members um, with regards to visitation. Um, so you're so if you're a member of the armed forces and you are facing deployment, what about your visitation order? What happens to the kids during that time? Obviously, they're not going to be visiting you while you're in a while you're um, deployed abroad. So, what does happen? Well, Title Forty Three actually makes provision for this. You can actually assign your right of visitation to a third party. Normally, it would be like a relative, like a grandparent, or maybe your um, if you have a sister or a brother, and that person can actually exercise that visitation on your behalf while you're deployed. And that is a right under Title Forty Three, and there's a proceeding for that. You would file a motion with the court to appoint that person as being allowed to have visitation in your place, and then the court can um, approve that. Um, so yes, you can in fact assign that, right? And then when you return from service, you can resume visitation as normal. The court um, should not be holding the fact that you're um, a deployed service member against you as far as being, uh, being allowed visitation and when you're allowed visitation. So, um, you would do so, and uh, if that if you find yourself facing this type of an argument, you do want to get a good lawyer involved, so that you can uh, defend your rights to to uh, your children, even if you are um, in in the uh, military services. My name is Brian L. Jackson, and we've been talking about the rights of deployed service members.